What's up guys, it's Jeffrey. So I have a confession to make. A few weeks ago, I met this pretty cool girl and I thought she was really sweet and everything, but there's just this big problem. Oh my God, they are so hot. I just want to marry him, 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 and him. Yeah, she loves K-pop stores more than she'll ever love me. If you don't know what K-pop is, it's kind of like American pop music, but uh, Korean? Oh, but that's what they want you to think. I'm not gonna lie, I've had a grudge against K-pop for a while now and refused to look into it because, okay, fine, I got jealous. But can you blame me? Because every time I ask about it, it's always, Oh, K-pop? Yeah, what's so cool about it? So it's these Asian guys. <laughs> and they're really good looking. Uh, they have nice hair. And uh, yeah, it's, it's almost like you. But so much better. Like they can sing, dance, and before they can. It's almost like right you, now, but so much better. So much better. So much better. Does that mean I'm friend zoned again? Anyways, recently I learned that K pop is so much more than just good looking Asians that can sing and dance. Like before K pop singers can even start to release music to the public, they have to go through tons of auditions, train for years and years, often away from their family. They have to go through diets, side jobs, vocal and dancing training, day in and day out without a single break. That's years of hard work and all that without knowing if they'll ever even be successful. Wow, that's harsh. Man! Now I understand why people would be so dedicated to supporting them so much. K-pop fans are so loyal and committed, it's almost like, like they're an army. Keep your eyes on target. Roger, got it on lock. Target at 9 o'clock. Roger, I'm in position. Roger, we got 7 more seconds. Let's do this. Make a whistle like a missile. 3, 2, 1. Attack! Oh my Attack! Yeah! Is it out? Is it out? Yes, the new music video is out. Hobby is so sexy! Oh my god, he is so cute! Fighting! <laughs> that was literally just a 10 second music video trailer. Jeffrey, Jeffrey shut, shut up. up! Replay it. Yep, <laughs> on it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You see, their fans are savage. I've even seen some fans say things that I never thought a human being would ever say. I'm K-pop trash. <laughs> K-pop trash? No, don't say that, that's ridiculous. Why would you? <laughs> no, it's true, like when my favorite group releases new music, I turn into complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I told ya. Yeah, I think it means they have an unhealthy obsession. Another thing I learned is that when you have a favorite member in a K-pop group, you'd call that person your bias. So for example, if my dad and I were to form a duo, <laughs> I would be your bias. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, never mind. Um, as I was saying, your bias of a group would be the member you would be the most faithful to and cherish no matter what. Wait, that's it! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of it sooner. I should start my own fandom. All right, guys. Mark this day and listen up because from here on out, we'll be calling ourselves Jeffreaks. No? No one? Huh, maybe I gotta do something worthy first. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I have this one thing I've been practicing, but I don't think. Nah, I don't think it would. I'm doing it really, really, really though. Big dreams, someone big though. Clubbing all night, champagne popping, get it faded. Girls saw my waistline. Tell the DJ is bass time. I got these girls all over me. They're going down, down for some face time. If it ain't pump, it ain't mine. When the crowd get hyped up, I stage dive. And people love my case like I'm okay. But I see for all of them fake smiles. You think I'm cocky, huh? Ain't I? Why you grilling on me day night? Party hardy, though, full moon till the break of dawn. I mean, daylight. What just happened? Wait, was I wearing pink? Actually, you know what? Black pink is pretty sexy. Don't judge me. Huh, looks like now I'm just missing my own song to lip sync to. I mean, I did write this new song recently, but it's so embarrassing because it's, it's about this girl and... You know what? Screw it. So what if she hears it? I don't care anymore. I should be ashamed. That felt pretty good. I guess now all that's really left to do is call up somebody that can produce my first track. But who can I call? Hmm. Uh, of course! I know exactly which producer can help me out. <laughs> Let me call up the homie. 
Hello, Bob Puffy Fever speaking. Who's this? Yo, it's your boy Jeffrey. Jeffrey, who? <laughs> it's Jeffrey Fever. Jeffrey Fever? Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, right, and anyways, I was thinking of debuting my solo music career and wanted to ask if you could help produce my first single. I'm actually currently working with a VIP, you know, very important person. So, uh, sorry, can't help, man. Hey, I'm ready when you are, bro. Uh, anyway, I gotta go. Wait, uh, but, good luck, but, peace. Hello? VIP? Uh, who the hell could be that important? Who is that? Uh, just this starving artist. Not important. Alright, well, let's get this solo music debut started, huh? What do you say? Psst, whatever. I guess I can't be a pop star right now. And fine, after looking into K-pop, it is pretty cool, I admit it. Tell me in the comments down below what you think about K-pop. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all very soon. This is Jeffrey Fever, and I'm pressing the record button now. Peace. Oh, what is this feeling? <laughs> Am I sick? No, I'm starting to feel so much power all of a sudden. <sighs> it's like... It's like I'm invincible.